The SBCA helps around about 30,000 animals per year, he ropu tsuwao hoki, so volunteers play a massive part. Now we're right in the middle of kitten season, which is the largest annual influx of animals that require help. So what does it take to be a volunteer? Me pehe hoki te afina atu. Well, we're here to find out. The kittens are born mainly between October and March, which means there are thousands of them all looking for homes during a short space of time. This puts huge pressure on the facility here in Mangere, and vet Chelsea Vigilant gets to cope with the kittens every year. So Chelsea, nā te ahakoe e timatai ki te mahi mā te SPCA, so why did you decide to work for the SPCA? Um, when you get to see little ones like this, that's an easy <laughs> answer. Um, I think that uh, it's a good thing for all vets to get a touch of what shelter medicine is and what we do every day and, and getting to see that side of it is very different mm -hmm. from from owned animals or specialty animals so I think it's it's a little bit of a goodwill good community work that you kind of do I think you can't do it long term um, but I think you should do everyone should do it for a bit so yeah, yeah. Oh, well, podia, huh? I get a little bit sad when I see all the kittens and the cats, but... And this is cat ward. This is where they will all come in when they initially come to the hospital, as long as they're not really sick or injured. This is where they'll come in, and we'll kind of triage them here. So we have our vet and our nurse come in here. The nurses are in here all day, but twice a day, usually the vets will come in and do vet checks, make sure that everybody's healthy, make sure that they're okay to stay in here for the stray time that we have to hold them. Mm -hmm. um, and then we usually, as you can see how small and crowded this room can be, we either have to foster them out or transfer them to different areas. So it's kind of just the triage room, really. So as you can see, we have tons of kittens in kitten season. Um, a lot of times this can be filled with just cats, but. You know what? This actually reminds me of me and my twins. This is what they do to me sometimes. <laughs> Crawl all over you. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So your face is just like, okay. Just like, like yeah, I'm just about. gonna leave it. Yeah. <laughs> So let's talk about de sexing. Yeah. I mean, that's a huge thing, isn't it? Making yeah. sure that you yep. do that with your animals. Yeah, I think lack of de sexing is probably the reason that we have such an overpopulation, um, especially of our cats. Uh, it, and it's not just our SPCA, every SPCA across the nation, every other rescue organization who does the same kind of work, they all get hit the same time with the same thing. So the only way to help decrease that is de sex. So this place can't run without volunteers. Oh, yep. No. SPCA could run without them and um, our volunteer base that works here is usually that base is between three and four hundred people. For everything from cleaning dirty litter boxes and washing clothes to walking dogs or doing outreach or outreach program with our volunteers, uh, fostering kittens or puppies, so it, it makes all the difference. Right, so this is our cattery. We've probably been here before. Um, so these cats that we have in here are all up for adoption already. And one of the things our volunteers do in this department, other than the normal cleaning and feeding, is they make a whole bunch of our enrichment toys. So, like these. So we get these plastic toys that you can buy, but this is just a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. You can do all kind of things with them. So, I mean, this sort of stuff, I mean, it seems simple enough. Yep. But you guys don't have to do it, and it exactly. makes the world a difference. Oh, and that's the thing that the we were talking to one of our volunteers is, for these cats, it makes their life different yeah. every day in their cage. So it's it, it's a big, big piece of, of what makes their quality of life better. So yeah, so yeah it's great. Volunteers, honestly. Yep. You can't do without them, Exactly. Can you? Chelsea, thank you so much. It's um, lovely to catch up with you, yeah. and I think it's about time that I go and see a volunteer. Get one of them, exactly. Yeah. We've got plenty of them. Good boy. Give me so Alex, when did you start working at SPCA? It's been about six months now. Um, feels a lot longer, feel like I'm part of the family, but yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's, so yeah. why did you decide to be a volunteer here? I'm a massive animal fan. I've had my own for a while and just sort of had the urge to do something a bit more. Um, so I started fostering here six months ago with some of the cats. Um, and Honoré uh, Monty thinks himself as a cat as well, so that was, that was great. He's just joined in on that one. But I think it's just so rewarding that if you're thinking about it, it's just a bit of a no-brainer. You've, you've got to do something. Yeah. So I suspect that there's certain parts of your work that are hard? Most of the animals that end up here are here for a reason, whether they've, you know, they've been injured, they've been lost, they've been abandoned. On the flip side, it's absolutely wonderful when you see those animals go through fostering, go through um, medical treatment, working with the staff here, and you see them adopted at the end of it. It's just, it's so heartwarming. But yeah, you just gotta sort of realize that's what we're here for at the start when they come in. So how do you stop yourself from taking these 
guys home? It's tough. <laughs> the first one was the toughest. It's sort of that first one you get home, you've had them for two weeks and you feel like they're your pet and it's really hard. But um, we keep telling ourselves that, you know, I've been able to help seven animals. And I guess the other th way to think about it is that you've helped the animals but you've also helped the families. Yeah. As well, because yeah. we all know what pets can do for families. Yeah, yeah, and um, I've met a couple of the people that have adopted the ones I've had, and they've all been so lovely and overwhelmed with their new pet, and it is really nice. You you get that sort of initial pang of feeling like, oh, that was my cat. So you meet them, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's your cat, and I'm so glad I could help to get to this point. And, <laughs> yeah. um, that's very cool. Ngā mihi ki um, Thank you so much for your time, and thank you for the work that you do, more oh, importantly. Thank you. <laughs> I love coming to the SPCA and the people that work here do an amazing job but we can help them even more by desexing our pets. Now I'll be back here in December where I'm going to choose a pet for our whanau.